In this video, I'll help you set up your user registration for your WordPress site so that user can visit the site, create an account from the register option, obviously, and after registration, they will be able to change their account details, their password, delete their account, and more. I will do everything step by step so even a non-technical person can follow. To enable the registration option, I'll go to my WordPress dashboard on the left, go to settings, and then click on general. In the membership section, enable the anyone can register feature. Next, we need to set the default role for new users. This will ensure what members can or cannot do on your site, like writing posts, adding comments, or managing settings. So, in general settings, look for new user default role. Here it is. We'll choose subscriber for now, which lets users comment on posts and products. Now that we have enabled the membership option, we need to install a plugin called Ultimate Member to enable the account features that we talked about earlier. On the WordPress dashboard, go to plugin, add new plugin, and search for ultimate member. Click install, and then activate. Next, on the left, click on the ultimate member, and click create pages. This will automatically generate necessary pages like registration, login, and account pages. Now, click on all pages, and here are all the pages that the plugin created. Now, under register, click on view, you'll see the registration form here. Now to connect these pages to a site, on the dashboard, go to appearance and then select menu. Select the header menu of the site. Let's select the pages like register, login, account and logout and add them to our site's navigation menu. Now to make sure relevant pages are shown to our users, click on the register menu, then click here and set it to visible only to logged out users. Do the same for the login button. This means that only visitors who are not logged in will see this button. Similarly, set the other menus like account and logout to logged in users. I'll go here, choose logged in users and check the subscriber option. I'll do the same thing for logout. Select subscriber here and click on the save menu. It's done. Let's see if my pages are connected. So I'll go to my site, click on register. On this page, I'll enter my details and click on sign up and yeah. I am able to log in and I can see relevant buttons on top here. Next, let's see how we can add more fields to our account registration page so that I can get more details about the user. But before we do that, we should also install one more plugin called Airlift because after creating user registration on your site, there's going to be a bombardment of user logins and you don't want your site to be slow or crash, right? Let's make sure these users have the best experience on your site. So I'll go to airlift.net sign up from here, enter my website URL, and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site, and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score, like caching, image optimization, lazy loading, and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore, just Elif is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. Let's go back to dashboard, go to the ultimate member and select forms. Under the default register form, click edit. Now click on the plus icon. You can see we have a huge list of fields like text boxes, drop down menus, radio buttons, and a lot of predefined fields too. So for now, I'll add a gender field by clicking here. If you want to edit this field, just click on edit here. From here, I'll make this field required like this. So it becomes compulsory to fill the field. You can also rearrange these fields like this. And I think I'm done. So I'll go here and click update to save changes. Now let's see how users can verify accounts using email verification method. Basically, users will get an email from our website with a link which users can click and verify their accounts. I'm pretty sure that you know about this. So let's go to user roles again and click on subscriber. Select email verification in the registration status. Go here and save the changes. Next, let's go to the emails tab again. Click on the account activation email. Enable it and save it from here. Now let's go back to our site, click registration, enter our details and hit submit and we'll get a message like this. Let's open our email and here is the email verification message. 
I'll open it and click on this button. Great, the account is verified and I can log into my site. Now, you might have posts and pages on your website that you only want registered users to see. So to enable this restrict feature on the dashboard, go to ultimate member and click on settings. Now go to access tab and scroll down to enable content restriction. I'm gonna select post, page and category like this and then click save changes. If you want to restrict content on your site only to the registered users, then go to pages, all pages. Here I need to select pages that I want to restrict. If you want to restrict post, enable this option right here and choose who can access this content. If you want only logged in users to see this, then click on logged in users. Now select which role can access this page. So I'm going to select subscriber. If unregistered users try to access these pages, I will redirect them to our login page so that they can register quickly and see these pages. To do that, I'll click here and select redirect user. Below it, you need to select where you want to redirect them. So I'll select login page and click update. And that's how you can enable user registration and restrict pages on your WordPress site. See you next time. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.